Okay then, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Nobooks Project, and today we're gonna have a Java challenge about streams. So I'm gonna just share my screen with you. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. So in this challenge, um, we are uh, creating um, factory method here. Let's make it more difficult. Let's use set of. Okay, I had changed this challenge yesterday, but uh, yeah, the, the real challenge is like this. So this is a challenge uh, about streams. And uh, here we have the factory method with uh, set off and then um, we are um, running these streams with uh, distinct command and then we use the for each uh, method and here's just a podium so i'm gonna ask you what's the output and i'm gonna give you some time okay are you ready to see the answer i'm worried but i'm ready <laughs> yeah. yes that's okay good. So -na -na -na, let's see the answer. Oh, everyone is wrong. <laughs> there is uh, an exception. Oh, no, man. <laughs> OK, so yeah. let's see why. It is wrong. Us again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in this method, in this uh, factory method set off, you see that there is this uh, class immutable collections. So that means that if there is a duplicated element, this, uh, this exception will be thrown. So that's why um, we have this exception in this factory method. Another thing that's important to mention here is that if we don't rewrite the hash code and equals method, uh, this exception wouldn't be thrown uh, because we are basically uh, we basically rewrote the equals method um, comparing if the name is the same and also we compare if the name length is the same but uh, if for example we put uh, super dot hash code it would be fine um, there wouldn't be any exception okay and um, let me see here. But uh, yeah, when the objects are equal, uh, this exception will be thrown. Then if we use uh, the list of method, it would be the result you said. But of course, they would be organized because list is an ordered uh, collection. So, um, yeah, it would be fine. And once we are using this distinct method, it will distinct all the elements from this list. So that's basically it for this challenge. Do you have any questions? I would ask uh, what is the, the, the purpose of the distinct, uh, the distinct uh, considering that that is a list, uh, it works, but with a set it doesn't work. Well, I, 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 I couldn't see the, the different between list and set uh, about the distinct uh, method on strings. So yeah, uh, actually with uh, set doesn't make much sense because set will do this job as, uh, already. So yeah. it, it, makes, it makes more sense to use that with list because list accepts uh, duplicate elements. Um, so I would say to not uh, use it if if you are using a set already, I mean, it doesn't, it wouldn't help much. Okay, so the, the purpose is to, if you have a list and if you, and you, you want to, to become a, uh, to have a set behavior, you put a distance and we have a something similar, right? It's something close exactly. to this? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
And that's it. Do you have any other questions? I actually wanted to ask you, Rafael, uh, as to, you know, you mentioned about the set as being a factory method. Uh, why do you say so that it's a, a factory method? Because um, we are basically creating new instance uh, inside here. And uh, it, it basically means that uh, we are invoking a static method and um, returning uh, an instance through this static method. So you see that uh, this off is static. And yes. inside here, inside here, we are instantiating our class. So this uh, enables us to create uh, more flexible instances. So other than um, instead of um, creating a huge um, constructor, we have this uh, factory method that uh, is more meaningful. I mean, we have here uh, a name that uh, says what's happening. So it's more clear. It's a, it's an useful pattern that uh, we can use for more complex um, instantiations. I see. So we have, and this, this method of is overloaded several times you can see here so this was done because of performance reasons so this is much faster than using string args for example i can show you that there is one here one method that to use string args yeah this one so if there is more than um 10 elements, so you can use the string args. That is uh, as many elements as you want. OK. This would be my question. And you, you already answered it. Why not using var args instead of putting like 10 elements? So I don't know how, how it, what is the performance yes, it, it, uh, 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 difference of, of doing uh, var args instead of each of elements but anyway maybe it's a very specific performance yes um okay. it, it makes difference okay so that's it for today uh, I, I will just uh, stop sharing my screen okay guys so this was the challenge of today it was about streams and you learned more about the factory methods in java 9 and also you learned a bit more of distinct so you learned that uh, you it makes more sense to use distinct with uh, lists and uh, collections that uh, doesn't that uh, allows uh, duplicate elements, and uh, yeah, it's they are useful because you can do a lot of uh, special treatments in your streams. So um, hope you got value from this challenge, and if you want to know more, you go to nobugsproject.com, and there is a section there called uh, um, Java Dev Gym. And then you can try on your challenge, you can practice, and you can improve your skills. So that's it for today. And uh, see you next week. And keep the code on.